We roam the still, cold world. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. to plenty, and for those who remained came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Hello ladies and chaps and a jolly warm good welcome to you from the frozen plains of Frostpunk. I am Baron Curtier, thank you very very much for joining me for this live comment recording. And uh, I have been put in charge of this sorry woeful band of survivors here. We left London recently, a few weeks back, and we've marched north and we found this really great big crater with this, uh, this big generator. This is going to be our source of life from now on. Um, and in these, this video series, hopefully, I plan on adding a bit of uh, roleplay and so on in it. Because um, I enjoy that kind of thing. So I'm going to build a new London. Um, my strategy is going to be to have residential areas here and industri industrial areas here and research and things like that. Um, initially, I need everything as close as can be to the generator because I haven't researched anything yet. But uh, let's get my people out gathering um, coal. Coal is very important to keep this thing alive. So let's get them doing that now. I have 80 homeless people. That's everyone. So let's start building houses. I want my residential areas to be, as I said, here. Um, so let's build three, three tents. That's 30 people housed already, or will be when they're built. Book of Laws, here we go. Right, my first law um, is going to be to enforce child labour. Um, purely because it just gives me an extra god knows how many pairs of hands to work rather than just taking up rations. Everyone needs to work. This is the human race survival we're talking about here. Okay, so they're not gonna like it very much, but um, whatever, I don't care. They're doing it. I mean, it's already bloody freezing as it is. If I bang that on, you can see the areas that are, that are heated. Um, I've just realized I've not even turned on this thing yet. So let's turn that on now. We have coal, 173 coal. So let's get that thing cooking up. That's nice. So yes. These areas are all comfortable, um, that's livable. Okay, they're, get, get, they're getting ready to head out to work again. Um, another law, um, food. Now, food additives, I can add sawdust to their grub. Um, it can make them sick and it does make discontent, but it uh, bulks out their food a bit, um, makes it more filling. Um, I'm thinking more along the soup line, cook soup up instead, four meals to feed more people with the same amount of food. So food stretches further. Um, hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise slightly, eating soup will cause discontent, of course, but it doesn't make them sick. Um, so I'm going to go with that for now. Okay, 
things are looking okay. They're looking okay. We're fast approaching this this deep freeze time. Um, what's going on here? What's this about? Family torn apart. Sir, a woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said her husband and daughter didn't reach the city with the main group, but she's sure they're still out there. She wants to join the first scout team we'll send out. She urges you to hurry. I don't know why she thinks we're sending out a scout team. <laughs> um, I need to do some research before I can get to that first. What's going on now? Protective mother. Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, a mother has refused to let her daughter go to work, afraid she'll get injured. We could look the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. Let's have the day off. This child won't work for 12 hours. Hope will rise slightly. Nothing will change. Yeah, you can kiss my ass. You're working. I send my own boy out in this weather. It's only a bit of frost anyway. What are you moaning about? This deep freeze is going to be a real bitch. Beacon researched. Okay, let's get that beacon up and going. 20 wood, 35 steel. Splendid. I have enough. Uh, but where to put the, the wretched thing? The, the shift is very nearly finished. In fact, the shift has just this minute finished. Oh, new lore as well. Uh... I'm not doing that. That's gonna that's gonna work people to death. Um, yeah, I've looked at this one before when I had a quick play for probably doing this, and I'm pretty sure radical treatment is the thing I want to do. They may have to amputate some people, um, their legs and stuff, but whatever. Beacon built. We no longer we we are no longer lost and blind. From now on, our people will be able to survey the icy barrens that surrounds us, the frostland. There she goes. Splendid work. Well done. We have a beacon. We can have a quick look what's going on around us and people can see us hopefully too. Hopefully there's no bandits in this game. <laughs> Otherwise they'll almost certainly find me. So that now opens up a new part of the game. As you can see. Lost Expedition and Crash Site. We have three people being treated, so we have three sick people. In fact, we have a a medical post here with no bugger in it. Hopefully, the scouts will find them other people and they'll bring some uh, some engineers back as well as workers, hopefully. Um, I don't know if they will. We'll find out. Discontent has gone up suddenly. Probably because of that. Oh my gosh. Where are the Canadians when you need them? This is like a nice spring morning for them. Oh, good Bennett. Uh, right, so yes. Struggling. Struggling. Always. Right, so let's have a quick look now at this. Ah, wow! Cold. Okay, they're going on. I don't have a lot of... Uh, I don't have a lot of coal, but they're going to have to go on. They're not doing a great deal either. Um, oh, scouts have reached the lost expedition. Excellent. Let's explore that. Search the area. Happy reunion! We enter the camp, appearing out of the driving snow. A choir of excited voices welcomes us. Thank God you found us! We had been wandering for days until we couldn't go any longer. Soon we begin to starve. Children and adults around us, packed and ready to go. We've discovered two more sites. Escorts them back to the city. Yeah, I'm gonna escort them back. What's that? Double rations for kids. In the wake of recent child workers' accident, the parents argue that we could give working children double rations to make them stronger and help prevent injuries. Oh, no. Um, my food isn't great. Workers' children will double rations. Hope will rise. I'm going to have to give them that, I think. They're, they, need, they need the extra rations. For the children, they have better metabolism than adults. Um... I don't have a lot of rations. It is though. Things are about to get desperate. I think in in the the ration department there. That's a new law. I can. I, I don't know why I didn't see that before. The fighting arena thing now sounds not a bad idea. Have people beat crap out of each other for entertainment. Um, and the it will reduce discontent. My discontent is quite high. Scouts return slowly to the city. Just in time, scouts.
there's other people. Hopefully they brought their own food because uh, food is fast becoming a problem. People from our convoy, reunions. It's hard for me to see families reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? The first expeditions left London long ago. They ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us find our footing. We'll look for others. Ooh, scouts have reached. They've reached something. Bridge to Winterhome. A brass plaque on the bridge tower reads, built by people of Winterhome in AD 1887. The bridge is kept completely snow free by a working automator. What the hell is an automator? Is that it? Hey. We stopped at the edge of a deep, wide ravine, marvelling at the steel bridge spanning it. Even more so at the huge automated sweeping snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send a machine back to our city or disassemble it for resources. I'm going to send that bitch back to the city, mate. I don't know what it does, but hopefully it's good. Um, um, the wisdom of the crowds. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Appreciate that, old chap. I really don't. Okay, scouts have reached the gloomy cave. Explore the cave. That's shit, there's a freaking bear there. Um, be set by beasts. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from a cave uphill. When we come closer, several polar bears turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, and those beasts are picking them off one by one and feasting on them. Oh, crap. Uh, people in the cave will live. Scouts will escort them to a city if they survive. If they survive. Leave the bears alone. I've got, I've got to risk it. It's, it's humanity we're talking about here. I want to keep humanity going. We had to help survivors. When our scouts attacked the bears, the people were in the cave. I think that's three children, 19 engineers and 12 people joined them and together they drove the beast away. Then they all set out towards our city. Yes, well in, more people. Excellent. Uh, what's this guy, what's this here? A frightened patient. One of our people is facing death but he's still refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind, even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Cut his leg off. Ah. Our, auto, our automaton has arrived. Looks like something out of War of the Worlds, but nice. Sounds good. Using automatons. Our first automaton is operational. This will help our economy greatly. Automatums can replace entire manual labour crews. They work around the clock or with short breaks to refuel that generator. We can research upgrades. Excellent. There is a, a freeze coming. There is a freeze coming on day 10. Um, but it only lasts a day and a half. So it's just one level. So hopefully it only go, it'll only go back down to minus 40 again. Not to minus anything else. Um, Food is constantly a problem. At the end of each day, I do run out of food. Scouts have reached the observatory. Scouts? Scouts have reached the observatory. Let's have a quick gander. Something amiss at the observatory. Snow covers the precious instruments and the dome is opening, letting out a thin column of smoke. Someone's inside. Survivors, perhaps. Explore. Oh, blimey, look at that. The sun is dimming. Instead of obstru... Instead of astronomers, we were met by some of our lost people. They explain that they came here for help but found everybody dead. The astronomers continued their observations until they starved. What was so important for them? They wrote it up in their diaries. The loss of sunlight can't be explained solely by the fouling of the atmosphere by the southern volcanoes. The sun is dimming. Oh shit, that's not good. Um, escort the survivors to the city. So that's going to be four children, 18 engineers, and 12, um, 12 other chaps. The scouts have supplies on them, I think. So I'm going to do that. Let's them to the city, and then they can head off in a different direction. So uh, excellent. Excellent. Good work, scouts. You're, 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 you're doing us proud. You really are. Happen now. Something else stepping. I know to thanks. Um, a note was left for the doctor who performed the amputation on the frightened patient. It reads, 
Thank you. I was in terrible pain and blinded by fear, and my choice would have doomed me. I may be without a limb now, but I'll live. It was the right thing to do. So hope is up. Hope is looking good. Um, I've had a promise fulfilled, desirable decisions. People are quite happy with that. Discontent is still there, 10% or so. Because of the bad food, I have very little choice. Very little choice on the food front, purely because I have bugger all food. So um, they're just going to have to be patient in that regard. And I'm out of coal. I'm out of coal. Um, the generator is shutting down. So, I'm sure you'll all agree things are looking quite desperate. The temperature is due to drop once again. I'm out of coal, my generator is shutting down, and rations are pretty much gone. It's only my scouts that are keeping hope alive in my settlement. And in regards to the scouts, what are we meant to make of their startling discovery that the sun may in fact be dying or dimming? It's quite a worrying find, I can tell you. So I'm going to have to do some drastic measures to keep things going. You're going to have to find out what those drastic measures are in the next video. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do leave a like. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you think. And please subscribe for more. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch, Twitter and Patreon. All links will be in the description below. I am Baron Curtier. I hope you have a very nice day and hope to see you all again very, very soon. Goodbye.